the Brick Zapper here again for a much awaited haul video. I was able to find the CMF Lego Minifigures Series 16 at our Chapters Indigo. And the Brick Adjuster. So we're going to go through all of the packs and hopefully we found all of the 16 minifigures. Let's check them out. So who are we thinking this is gonna be? The Ice Queen. The Ice Queen. And it is... <gasps> The ice cream! Yay! Oh, 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 oh. oh we lost all these crystal parts. So the dead giveaway for the ice queen is this cylinder piece because it's the only one with a so dress. So when they say ice queen, are they thinking of the movie Frozen? And should this person be in the minifigure for Frozen? I'm so confused. Or it could so it's be cool from... because she has um, a pale blue face and she has sparkly um, cape. Nice. I don't know where to put this. This is it's a cool face. Becoming more and more elaborate, these things. It's like a cape and those collars. Okay, I'll let you build it. Oh, it's terrible. So here's the very regal Ice Queen. Very icy and crystally. She has these um, weapons. I guess they're just like shards of ice coming out of her hands. She has a pale blue face to show how cold she is and a tiara. Um, her gown is nice and detailed in its design. She also has a nice crystal pendant. And if we swirl her around, she has a very crystalline, uh, shiny cape and collar. She looks very nice. Who is this guy? The second pack, I think it's the wildlife photographer. And how do we know? Uh, the giveaway for this, is it right though? No, it's a penguin guy! No, it's a wildlife photographer. Oh, wildlife photographer. The wildlife photographer it's has a penguin, a penguin guy. So what gave it away for me was the camera and the stud. The stud? Yeah, the What's stud What's the here. stud you needed for? It's part of the camera. Oh, I like it. But I, I felt the stud and the camera. I wanted this penguin. Oh my goodness, he's so, so cute. So the stud goes in front of the camera. So I think this penguin is going to be next to the penguin suit guy. Here we go. So it's a very cool minifig with the arctic uh, outfit here again with a fur trimmed hoodie and a cute little minifigure for a penguin right beside the penguin guy. I didn't realize there was a penguin and a minifigure penguin guy and of course a photographer but the jacket is really nicely detailed and even the side is like blue and red. Nothing really back in the back I guess there's a bit of a detail with her colors of blue and red but if you had the arctic city sets that would have been a great addition to it. And who is this? I think it'll be the imp. How do you know? Well, Shortly. when I was feeling it, it's the staff and the wings that gave away yeah, the... Yeah, so cute. Is it the imp? Yes. Actually going to be one of my super favorites. So the giveaway for the imp was this piece, which is easy to feel. And oh, I didn't even know it had a tail. Tail. But the staff too. And How also many this piece. Did we here. Collect? Are we gonna keep? There's three that come in a box. Oh, okay. So this is probably my favorite from this whole set. The little cute trick or treater imp guy, little devil. He has a devil stick and a jack o' lantern um, basket, I guess. Uh, he has a cool helmet with devil's horns. Just wearing a red jacket, and when we flip him around, he comes with a devil's wings and a cute swirly tail. And when we compared him to the other trick or treater from season. Series 14, we wanted to make a comparison with the jack-o'-lantern and it's actually two different jack-o'-lanterns. I can't wait for Halloween to Instagram all these different thingies. Happy eyes and... Yes, so this one's a happy open eyes and this is happy squinty eyes, closed eyes. Smile, smile eyes. Okay, Number who's this? Number five, I think it'll be the hiker. Hiker. Why do we think it's a hiker? I forget how the hiker even looks like. The hair? Oh, this one. It was the square piece. Uh huh. But and two a of cool them have backpack. A square piece. Look at that very awesome. It's actually the square backpack. piece and the backpack. With a backpack like that ever? With a with a no, roll, I a blanket roll. I think that's new. That's awesome. And he looks lost. The face is cool. Yeah, no face like this before? No, it's a new face. That's nice. And let's put his pants. So here is the lost hiker minifig. I think he's very cute. Again, fantastic detail on his jacket and he has a very lost look i think like he doesn't know where he's going hence he has this very detailed map as well it says uh Griebel trail does that mean, mean, mean anything to you Griebel is a lego term oh okay so he has cool tussled hair he's probably been hiking for days again what a fantastic um backpack with the rolled blanket 
um, combo right there but that's another very new item that it looks amazing so very nice hiker lots of uh, detail okay next one I think is the boxer the girl boxer are we right or are we wrong this one was the top one. We oui. it is. It is the box. Isn't the helmet a giveaway? The giveaway for me was the hair piece because it had this long ponytail oh, thing. Oh right. How does it how does it? And it I kept oh, feeling she comes either this, with a yeah. And I didn't know what it was. What is it? Because it's not on the picture. So it's either she's with her hair or and her hands are not the regular Lego hands, they're already uh Gloves. Oh, because I was looking for you the gloves in the you packet. You can't really find the gloves. They're all together. So you can Interesting. have that or then you can put her helmet on her. So this boxer comes with a helmet and again like a hair piece that we showed earlier. But uh, and you can see that over here in the box picture. But we're going to keep her with her helmet. Her gloves are already part of her torso. And uh, again, nice simple detail of her tank top in the back as well. And in comparison, we have another boxer here with a metal. So same idea with the scrunch shorts and everything. But yeah, I don't know why they would give her two hair pieces because now we just have an extra ponytail. Next, I think we have the cyborg. And how do we know it's a cyborg? Uh, I think it was the gun. The gun. So the cyborg is exciting because she has this very cool Face design. Where's that gun? She's half human, oh, half yes. robot, and cyborg. Um, her torso is really boring though. So I guess there's something that goes on top of her. Her it's like um, an armor. So here's a female cyborg with a very cool face, as I mentioned earlier, and also cool hairstyle with some silver streaks in it. It's blue with silver streaks, and she has her loaded gun there with a little orange translucent piece. And her armor also uh, reflects the color selections that they have for her, which is the blue with the silver markers. And also at her side, her pant leg also has some nice cyborg detail. The back is just a regular backpack, I guess. And on her side here, you can see her arm also has some cyborg detail. So, interesting. Next up is the Arabian Night. Oh, no singing in this one, right? Ooh, very cool. Is it the turban that... No, it's the sword. The sword! Oh my goodness! The, is this... Sin or what that is of... like a big sword! Yeah, this is very easy to... Because you can feel the bottom part, and then you feel the Where blade. are you going to put him? In the Prince of Arabia scene? Prince of Persia. Persia. This is... A... So here's the Arabian Knight. He's a warrior. He has this amazing belt in, f in his torso to hold, uh, I don't know what, maybe uh, his weapon which is a very, very big sword over there with a very nice um, curved tip at the end. And also he has a nice gold bracelet. Nice turban. Okay, next up I think is the Spooky Boy who will be paired up nicely with our Spooky Girl. For right? Seasons. Yes, it is. And the giveaway there was the... Spider and the book. Oh, he has a book. He has a Spooky Tales book. My type of boy. So the spooky boy doesn't look scary. He looks quite sad actually. Sad boy. Sad boy. And he's carrying his spider there and he has a skull as a shirt detail. He looks like he has like what some side tattoos there or just bracelets. And his pants has a chain, goth chain, chain. Um, and then he has a spooky tales book. I don't know why he has a spooky tales book. There's a spooky girl. Oh, there's a spooky girlfriend. I think she's still cuter. Don't you think so? She is cuter. She's cuter. He's like, I don't know why he has like a fang tooth too. Who's this? Uh, the pirate. And he also has a map. So oh. <gasps> what made you think that he is different from the hiker? So you feel the map and mm -hmm. then also you feel the sword. Oh, because uh, the hiker, the, the, the hiker had a backpack, right? Yeah. So this pirate is bald and he has um, a very nice striped pant look. And he's all weather-worn, like his vest is all torn up apart. He has a nice hairy chest. So here he has um, his map that he's showing us and his sword. And he also has a very cool arm anchor tattoo. So not too much detail in the back other than he does look like he's still weather-worn. He's um, like all the bald, shipwrecked. The bald cap is cool. The bald cap is nice. Next up, I predict we have the penguin boy. And he is also short-legged and he has 
um, a torso with arm flaps, wings. So the giveaway for this is short legs. Short legs. But we have two that has short legs. So the short legs without the wings. Or you can feel the smooth head. Yeah, you would feel the wings right away though. I think Lego did it again with the super cute penguin minifigure. So it's very cute. He has um, printed toes, I guess, for a penguin guy. And he has skates, which doesn't really go on the base. But very cute. How does the face look without the helmet? He's a happy, he's a happy penguin person. Happy. Hmm. And that. So is it really like a costume or just like he is a penguin? It's a costume. Oh, okay. Next up is the Rogue or I think the Stealthy Ninja or the Robin Hood figure. Why is it called the Rogue? It's called, and what's the giveaway? The arrow? The, the arrow. bows and arrow? Yeah, it's pretty so easy. His face actually has a mustache. Oh. Right? He has a sideburns and um... So this is easy to feel or even the... Um, but once he has a this. helmet on, you can't tell who it is. No. Is it Robin Hood? And look at that cool detail. He has like a fox. So here is the rogue guy with lots of very cool design. Just his torso has like a vest that's probably embroidered and a belt and some sort of talisman and a belt. And uh, the pants are also very detailed. And he has a cool bow and arrow. I feel like you can make like a Katniss from Hunger Games um, minifigure mock. And then he has a crossbow, of course. Very nice. Next one is the dog show judge. Best in show is the show for that, and the giveaway was the trophy. Trophy. So this, these parts, the ears, are pretty easy to feel. The ears, the handle. The handles. So we have a very. So here's a very happy looking dog show judge. I don't know why he has the number one place ribbon. Because he's the, the first dog. place judge. Ah, uh, and again, you can tell it from the trophy, which also has a design of a dog on it. Versus the dog. I guess you couldn't really feel the dog, or you could. I didn't feel the dog. Oh, okay. And he has a bone, a bone treat in his pocket. Oh. Next up is the spy, aka Mission Impossible minifigure, aka Tom Cruise minifigure. So Mason actually wanted this guy right off the bat. He has a very cool, stealthy looking knapsack. Look at that. It's very flat. When oh. you put on his back. I didn't even feel that. It looks awesome. Look how great that looks. It's actually. I felt the. And he has his um, comms on. He has some cool hair. Cause I felt the goggles. Spy has to be cool. He and the has gun. I felt the gun and the goggles. Very detailed uh, uniform. So this guy has lots of accessories. A uh, silencer gun. A rope to help him get away or hang from amazing heights. And he has this infrared. I don't know, glasses so you can see in the dark. Lots of accessories for this guy. And a cool flat knapsack, like like a Tumi knapsack I have mm. for my baby diaper. What's this one? Next up is the Mexicana Serenator. Or is this right? Serenator. It's the cool hat that's a giveaway. Yep. Oh, lots of accessories. Whoa, he has a mustache. So here's a cool serenator and he has a very nice hat. The design, it's like some lacy design actually is from his torso and even down the side of his legs so he looks very romantic. He has a nice red bow tie and he plays his guitar and Nick, the brick adjuster, wants to settle him with these muchachos. I want him to go with a serenader girl. So that's actually a nice looking trio right there. Makes me want to have a burrito. <laughs> Maracas? He's just gonna clap. He's gonna, he's a singer. Oh. Okay, this one. Second last, and we're finally getting the banana guy, which I guess the easiest to feel is the banana. Banana piece. Piece. So it's the banana guy. So I guess other than the banana outfit, he's really boring. Like you get five of these in a box. So are you keeping all of them? Yes. What are you gonna do with all these out banana guys? Banana arm. Banana split. Oh, can we banana guy outfit ourselves? Yes. Okay. And the last one is the mommy and baby babysitter. The teen mom. Oh, the head. Ah, it's cute the baby, head. baby head. Oh my gosh, I love it. So the giveaway is the baby two. head. It's so cute. It's the bottle oh. or the pigtails. The bottle is as big as the baby. The baby can't even hold the bottle. That's so funny. So here's the babysitter with the baby. It's a very, very, very cute minifigure, and she's of course has a bottle. To help feed the baby, um, she can't hold the baby. I don't know. The baby's bald. The baby is bald. So nice, nice, nice duo. 
So here's all the 16 minifigures from series 16. In completion, we didn't open up a duplicate, so that's good. Which one is your favorite? I think I like, I don't know, the imp, the penguin. It's hard. My favorite are the imp, banana guy, oh, penguin. I think I maybe have like my, my top 16 favorites. And either the Mexican or spooky guy. Yeah, they're all good. I, again, I feel like Lego... Which one's your least favorite? Um, I my least a... favorite would probably be the... Um, Rogue. Yeah, I don't know. I don't not like them. They each have their own quirks. But again, we got them released ahead of schedule. Were they supposed to come out in October? No, um, oh. September. Oh, or so August. early. I'm oh, not sure. okay. You're so appealing! You're devilish. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this is the Brick Sapper signing and off. And the Brick Adjuster. Thanks for watching our haul video. We hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon in another video. Thanks. Bye. Bye.